up to you guys. So earlier, when I was going to check out what grass field I need to mow, I didn't see not one car in sight. <laughs> Nowhere. I got back to the shop and I asked Danny and Dan, I said, did we miss the rapture? <laughs> I forgot the day is Labor Day, you guys. So I guess a lot of people are off work. But let me tell you, a farmer's work is never done. You can believe that. I'm seeing some cars on the road now, though. Here comes another one. So I'm going to let these cars go on by. We're going to head on to the grass field, you guys. Oh, man. Why didn't you guys tell me I was dozing off? Lord have mercy. Woo. That was some good sleep, though. <laughs> man, I need to get out and stretch my legs and get some fresh air, maybe. How about that? Maybe that'll wake us up. about to head back to the field just get out the phone with Dan he wants me to oh and look at the beach traffic too <laughs> there's been a lot of beach traffic going by here anyway he wants me to grab the uh the little grain truck and haul a couple of loads so I guess I'm gonna wrap up the mowing that's good because I was dozing off for real for real <laughs> and uh I guess I'm gonna haul a few loads yeah folks is heading home from the Labor Day holiday We're gonna see how how she runs since getting her back, you guys. <sighs> There's Danny, he's made it back with the freight liner already. It's good and dusty down there, you guys. I do in the Camaro. So Friday we were over to the right in that field, and I guess. They got the field over here to the left pick Saturday. Now we're on in the back. Looks like he's getting turned around on the end there. Coming back down to the loading end of the field. So I'm gonna pull a load off of the grain cart. He wants me to try to get the grain cart emptied uh, in between Danny unloading because Danny's still unloading at the shop as well. So I guess I'll try and get in between him unloading get this grain car emptied and then Danny he's gonna start hauling straight to the mill and I'll be hauling to the wet bin so that'll try and keep things rolling damn about to get loaded up on the international down there do 
it, you guys. I want to get it too loaded. So Danny is still unloading down here, you guys. Looks like it's running out now, so he's about to shut it down. It'll probably beat on the side of the top or bottom to get the rest of it out of there. Looks like he opened the gate up a little bit more. So you guys, this is bin number two. The motor that we went to get is in this fan right here. And yes, it's loud. It's louder than my mouth even. I'm not gonna stand in front of it because it'll blow your eardrums out. But anyway, so we we putting it in bin number two now instead of bin number one that's over there. And I was just talking with Danny, and uh, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this auger that he uses. That way, since he's gonna try and bring one more load, we won't have to unplug it, and I won't have to mess up this setup that he has for that. So. I'm gonna pull up over there. Now, of course, I don't know where I need to stop at. Okay, so I need to come, I need to come further back. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and swing this thing out. That way, I know about where it needs to go. All right, then we'll see that. That's where we need to back up to. I think I got it now. Let me see. Yeah, I think that'll do, you guys. I don't think it'll shoot too far. Let's go ahead and turn it on. flow it can handle doing it this way sixteen point nine you guys I think I might continue to use this method because if I start using just the pit over there I have to pull this up out of the way and I mean, hey, this is this is easy. I think it's a little bit slower unloading because I ain't got it as wide open as normal, but I can rock with this. That way I ain't gotta, once again, mess up the setup he got, even though he's not gonna be hauling here much longer. to the field there's Danny coming out I got back to the field before he got out of here well you guys I'm about to take lunch before I unload that load of corn I'm gonna show you this special package I got this morning from Dan yeah four bags I don't know what size bags these are I don't think they're quite quart bags they might be but these are boring peanuts, you guys. Woo -hoo -hoo. You know what? I think he tried to butter me up. He tried to butter me up so I can haul this afternoon. <laughs> but let me tell you, one bag is already empty, you guys. That's nothing but a bag of shells there. I'm trying. Listen, boiled peanuts are almost like Krispy Kreme. I don't know how to control myself. As a matter of fact, he brought me a bag before. Let me show you what happened to that bag when I said I'm just gonna eat one. You guys. Dan brought me a bag of bored peanuts. And I said, you know, I'm just gonna eat one. Well, that's only one. 
that's one pow, one heap of peanuts. <laughs> and no, I didn't eat the entire bag. I ate one half of the bag the first time and the second half of the bag this time. <laughs> I love boiled peanuts. Oh man, they were so good. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> yeah, y'all saw that. So he said that he put them in smaller bags so I can rationalize them, but uh, I don't think that works too well, you guys, because <laughs> I still eat a bag at the time. <laughs> and yes, I'm gonna give him the credit. He dug these peanuts up, picked them off the bush, washed them, and boiled them himself. So Dan, I thank you. You know how much I love boiled peanuts. <laughs> now that we using the pit that Danny uses to unload, I can just drive around like he does with the hopper bottom. I just gotta know when to stop. <laughs> he has those lines there for the uh, 18 wheeler truck, but let's see. That might be close. Yeah. Not close enough though. Gotta back up some, you guys. Let's see if this is it. I believe that'll do. I got a piece of wood in front of the tire over there. That way I'll just leave that auger out and I'll back up to it instead of driving around and moving it all the time. Coming down, coming down. to the field this looks like some tall corn as well now I don't know how good I am with pulling under this auger with the truck so yeah plenty of corn husk for us to eat on you guys so I gotta get a little bit off the grain cart it didn't quite fill me up yeah that definitely needs some more uh, I believe that'll do it you guys Looks like Danny and I are both pulling up in the field at the same time. He's just getting back with the International. And I'm assuming I'll have to load off of the grain cart. Then I'll probably load on uh, the big truck. And I'll just be loading off of the grain cart to try and keep things rolling smoothly. Because he's waiting there. He's waiting so patiently. Guess he pulled up over there to try to get away from the power lines that's down there. Danny getting the tarp rolled up. Danny trying to beat me out of here? Oh no. Not today, buddy. Not today. Oh man, you guys, the crossbar has broken. That's the same side that Dan welded before. I guess I got to see what he want to do about it. Looks like he got the international loaded already. I wonder
wonder if he was gonna try and go to the backfield and pick and use the grain cart. But anyway, we're gonna take the bar out of here. He's gonna take it to the shop and weld it. I'm gonna put just a piece of load on here and be getting that unloaded while he's working on that. Ah, uh, let's see. Yeah, that'll do for a piece of load, you guys. Don't want it too full since we got that one bar out the back. That'll push out on the sides there, make the sides look swollen. You see how it's bowing out right there? The side. That's why we need those brace bars in there. It goes in that hole right there and it keeps it pulled in so that it's not pushing out on the sides. Now we can put that other bar back in if he's got it welded. Now what's the warranty on this? What? What's the warranty on this? How long is it gonna last? Two hours. Two hours? What? <laughs> <laughs> can you see them peanuts, how they're badly wilted a good ways over there? They look real light colored. That's cause it's dry out there, you guys. The sun, the heat, the dryness is getting to them. And the grass there too. Looks like a cloud there, you guys. I'm gonna have to wait for Dan to get enough to finish me getting filled up because there's a little bit on the grain cart over here that we gotta get off. And then I'll back back up to where he's at. Matter of fact, I'm, let me see. You know what? Let me uh, let me back up. Wait a minute, where those power lines? Oh, never mind. I'm gonna pull back on up. Okay, I see where the power lines are. I'm gonna back on up. I know I just confused y'all. I confused myself. I'm gonna back on up and put a grain cart down here. That way the grain cart will be closer to him. But see, there's a power line right there. And you don't want to load close to no power line. I figure right here would be good. That's close enough to the corn. And that power line right there, I don't know if you can even see it or not. But we don't want to run no auger on that because we'll be fried. We'll have fried or barbecued Terrell and Dan on Labor Day. <laughs> oh, we're running. We're running. <sighs> pulling up, pulling up. That's all that was on the grain cart. He'll come and top it off. I'm pretty sure with a round in those rows there, it'll be plenty enough to fill it up. He's coming. Got the auger out already. Ready to unload it. With all that dust too. We might have to we might have to run and hide you guys. Oh my goodness, there's a dust cloud coming. <laughs> oh there's the hut. Won't take them long to fill up. Avalanche! Oh man! <laughs> oh god! I'm doing this for you guys! I'm eating hot for you guys! <laughs> All right, that's enough. Oh, so I guess the international truck was not full. So he's going back down here. Okay. Well enough. Do what you got to do, Dan. Yeah, this is definitely a Labor Day special for you guys. I'm getting fake drone footage of the mower earlier. I was eating hus for you guys. Oh, man. You got to make sure you throw a thumbs up on this video. <laughs> It's quieter on this side of the bins since that fan isn't running. I told you guys earlier that bin is full so there's no need for that fan to be on because the corn is going in bin number two and that corn is hot and it needs to stay cooled off so that fan is on over there and it's keeping it nice and noisy over there. 
He's already coming back to load up the grain cart again. I see a few drops of rain on the windshield there, you guys. Uh-oh, almost missing it up too high, you guys. Got it falling off there. On the way back to the field, and we get some more raindrops here. That old auxiliary brake. Oh, and a notification from Facebook going off at the same time. This might be the last load, you guys. It's about 625 right now. He has the grain cart covered up, so yeah, this might be the last load, you guys. I'm about to see right now. Well, you guys, this is gonna be my last load. Dan said that Danny is tied up at the mill. He said it'd be an hour before he gets back. And it's like 6.40 right now. So that lets you know that we're not the only farmers trying to get some corn haul to the mill. There's still two loads on the grain cart, but I told Dan, I said, you know what? I'm gonna let this be the last load for today. So this is gonna be the last load. Put this up. So, do you guys know how many loads I brought in today? That will be your test question. How many loads did I bring in today? Write it in the comment section if you know. <laughs> All right, you guys, so I've, I've parked myself over here while the truck is unloading. It's a little bit quieter over here. <laughs> well, we're looking over there, it looks like some clouds are in the sky there. But anyway, I'm about to wrap this video on up. I was thinking back earlier on today how <laughs> I asked uh, Dan and Danny the question, did we miss the rapture? Because I didn't see any cars on the highway, which I normally see a bunch of cars on the highway. But today being Labor Day, a lot of people are off work. However, today we are working. Um, I hope that you guys who had the day off have enjoyed your day. I've enjoyed my day even though I'm at work. Yep. <laughs> and I hope that you've enjoyed watching me while I'm at my day of work. <laughs> but anyway, um, on this Labor Day, I just thought about the scripture in Hebrews where the Bible says that we should cease from our labor. We should cease from our works. What did that mean? That means that we should in our minds stop trying to think that we can do or achieve salvation through our good works or our good behavior you know just anything that we can do and enter god's rest we enter god's rest by placing our faith in what jesus has done we we enter god's rest by trusting in jesus works in jesus labor what he did for us to be accepted by god that's how we enter God's rest. So, you know, the, the, the Pharisees and the Sadducees, they were all about works. And they missed Jesus. They missed the fact that Jesus was the only way to the Father. And it was only through what Jesus had did that God would accept them. And so, I thank God that, hey, today might be Labor Day, but I've entered God's rest. I'm resting. <laughs> I, that's right. I've ceased from my own works. I say, God, I can't save myself. I can't be a good enough person. I got to trust in your son, Jesus. And I've entered his rest. And I've ceased from my labor. So I encourage you guys. If you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, now is a perfect time to get to know him. So that you can also enter God's rest. And truly have a day off <laughs> you have a lifetime off when you give your life to jesus <laughs> anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video on today you guys stay blessed you guys keep encouraged and as always we'll see you in the next one it is finished <laughs>